Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shanee Early, a craft doctor, and I'm here with my next video. Um, it's to call me Crafty Al, sheet load of cards. And so what I'm doing is February 2021. This is a continuation of the 100 cards that I'm making for caregivers um, for, our, uh, for my nonprofit organization. So this is the design that we're gonna make. What I did was I went on ahead and cut out all the pieces so I can make this video continuous as opposed to what I was doing before I actually um, stopped, cut out the pieces, that kind of thing. This time I actually just cut off the pieces so then I can make the, I can make the actual card, okay? So um we we are still uh, still using uh white card bases that i have from uh crafters companion um, okay. for this group we'll be making nine cards okay so let me grab my card bases because I grabbed the envelopes and did not grab the card bases. So let me put you on pause. Okay, I'm resuming. So what happened is when I went to look for my card bases, I didn't have any. So I had to make some. So that's why, um, well, it was a blink of, of a, a click of a mouse for y'all, but it was a little minute for me. So I'm going to make this card base. Um, I'll make that one for you so you can see what paper I use. And I went for the Heartfelt Creations paper and it came from this paper pack. Home, it's the Home for the Holidays collection. And I'm using this one, um, this one, and this one. So this one this one and that one or maybe this one is that one wait no it's this one this one and that one so these are the papers i'm using so i'm still using the christmasy papers but they don't look like christmas on that back side so this is how we're gonna this is how this is put together right so here's my card base and then we have um this paper here and then we have this, which is uh, the matte layer for this one. What they did was they cut off the edge of it, um, it like the corner. They cut off the corner. So what we're gonna do is the same thing. So I have this um, board here, and this is the corner rounder right there. Oh, you can't see it, hold on. This, this is the corner rounder right there. See that? It's the corner rounder. It don't give very much corner rounding. So guess what I have? I have my other corner rounder. Is this, I don't know, I may not be putting it in far enough. Oh, I wasn't, that's why. I wasn't putting it in my car. Oh no, the corner round is very small, it looks like. Okay, anyway, let's corner round all of these pieces. This gray paper is kind of thin, so I can do a couple of them at the same time because this is kind of a thin, um, this is a 60 pound vellum-like paper. And vellum-like paper, was paper that um, back in the day, stationary people used to say, call it vellum paper, and it was not what we know as vellum. It was um, paper that was smooth, and they called it vellum paper because it was smooth, not because of, of um, the kind of paper. That is just a, what did I just do? I just rounded the wrong piece, but that's okay. This piece will be rounded. It's these pieces, which is the matte layer to this. Good that's supposed to be rounded. Okay, we gotta 
We're at the crop still, so let me put you on pause. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. It was the host um, that was on the mic. And so now, this is what we're gonna do. This is how the card is going to look. So what I'm gonna do with this piece is I'm gonna corner around this one. So this one will be different because I mistakenly cornered around the wrong piece. So we're gonna cut around this one so it will be this mat layer, then this mat and this mat is going to go, they're gonna go like that together. Okay, and then we're gonna edge it on here. Oh, you know what? Not two pieces are gonna be alike. They're gonna be different. So we're gonna mat, take these two pieces and put them like that. And these two will join together like this. Then we're taking this piece, um, which will be this piece here and we're going to lay that right on top okay and then I flagged this piece and this piece will go from here to there and we'll have this piece and this is our sentiment and the sentiment will go right there I haven't decided what sentiment to put on it so we're gonna figure that out in a little while and I wanted to show you our other card from earlier. I added, and if all of my regular people know what I added, that's right, I put some bling niche on there because we needed something on this flag and opposed to embossing them all, I just put some blingage on there. So we'll do the same thing with this gray card. We'll put some blingage on there. So that is what the card is going to look like. I'm not sure what the sentiment is going to be yet, um, because, of course, I didn't bring a bunch of stamp sets with me. So, we will put our sentiment on there um, when we get home. It's fine that I, I leave that piece uh, or stamp it when I get home because I can put it right in my Misty and stamp it. So, this is card number two. It's yielding nine pieces. As you can see, it's yielding nine pieces. And um, this is the sheet load from February 2021. So um, I'm hoping that um, you're not getting that background noise because I don't want to get a copyright strike, strike. So I'm going to close out the video here and I will see you in the next one.